Hi again guys, I've had a request from a viewer for a tutorial for the excellent squished scube I've got here. Um, <coughs> basically the viewer was having trouble rotating the centres after solving the rest of the puddle. Um, but I'm not just, just going to do a tutorial on that, I might as well do, to, do a tutorial for the whole thing. Um, just in case anybody else is struggling with it in general. Um, excellent quality puzzle, this really enjoys solving this one. It's uh, it turns really well and it's, it, it's really well put together. Um, you will notice that when you're trying to do the algorithms it's a bit kind of... Um, because of the shape of the puzzle it's not obvious exactly where you need to turn all the time. So I'll show you how I keep track of exactly where I need to turn as well while I'm in the process of showing you how to solve it. Um, if you're comfortable with solving a skew already then that's going to help you with this. Um, <coughs> But I'll go through the tutorial as if you never solved a scheme before in your life, just because in case you are coming to this tutorial from that situation. Now, most of it I solve by intuition, um, the first part anyway. And then there's really actually just one algorithm that you use to solve the rest of the puzzle. Um, it's fairly straightforward, but you just use it slightly different ways in different situations. But yeah, this really is a great puzzle. Looks fabulous when it's so shape shifted like this as well. Okay. So the way I solve it, I always solve the white face first. I've just got to do that on pretty much every puzzle. <coughs> so you start off with the white centre, and basically you need to get the four white corners around it. Um, straight away I can see that I've got the white, green, red corner here, but it's, it's in position but it's ro rotated wrong. So let's get that done first, because then that will be rotated right, which is probably the hardest part of doing this first layer, getting everything rotated correctly. So if I just rotate that away one step, and then using that corner that I've just moved away as my centre, rotate it around that, that corner one step, and move it back, and you can see that I've actually rotated that corner correctly now and I've put it back in position. So what do we need next? Let's find another white piece that's got either red or green on it as well. So not the orange and blue one for now. So I've got white, red and blue here. So because it's got a red piece on it, it needs to go the red piece needs to go next to this other red piece obviously. So it needs to go on this side. Now I can see straight away that if I turn it up to position right now it's going to be rotated incorrectly again. So once again if I just turn this side using the corner that I'm interested in as a centre. Just turn it one step until it clicks into place. Then move it up and then you can see it's coming to position. Now purely by chance this white, orange and blue has come into position. So I'm just going to move that out of the way um, just so you can kind of see how I would do it. And I'll, I'll put this other one over here in position first. The white, green and orange. So once again I can see that if I were to just try and move that up to position, it wouldn't work. If I could get everything lined up by that would help. It would be rotated incorrectly again, as you can see. So once again, just move it down to out of the way. Rotate half of the skew around that corner that we're trying to solve, which rotates it. And move it back. You can see it's still not right, so move it back out one more time. Rotate it again. Move it back in. And you can see it's now solved. And once again, I've accidentally put this um, orange, white and blue in. Now, I want to move it out of the way. Um, you'll see why in a minute. Because um, this final one is the most tricky one to, to get in right. So I'll just imagine that it's up here and it's in the wrong orientation like that. So all you've got to do is basically the same as we've just been doing. Just rotate it out of the way and rotate it one step. But of course you're moving this one from its solved state. So just bring it back again. You can see it's still not solved, but just bring the, all the other solved ones back into position. So we'll just do this one more time, just rotate it out of the way, rotate around that corner, bring it back to where it belongs, and bring the other one back as well. And you can see that that's solved the white face. So then we move on to getting all our centres in position. So all I do here is the same algorithm over and over again until it's got them all in the right place. Now they don't have to be oriented correctly, they can be 
in the right position but oriented wrong for example like this orange and blue are sticking up out of the puddle at the moment even if they were in the right position they'd be oriented wrong um, so all you do you look at your top face which is now my yellow um, now as it happens I've actually got my yellow there but f we need to remove that from there to start with but if you had one of the other colours in there then you'd start from where we I will move on to in a second so what this algorithm does it puts it swaps these two centres, the top and front, and these two centres, the left and right. So it swaps four centres overall. And all you do is an R prime. And when I say R, that this is the hard bar to keep track of. What I will do, I'll, this, if the red is here is my front face, to figure out exactly where I'm going, I'll use the R as the um, the slice that takes the front right corner from the white and I'll use the left as the face, that, the turn that moves to the front left corner from the white face. So I'm going to do an R prime, L, R, L prime. Now you notice that the, the, the first two moves remove those two pieces from the white face, the second two moves put them back. So if for some reason the second move doesn't put your white face pieces that you've already sold back then you know you've turned the wrong section and as you can see what that's done I've put that yellow piece center piece down here and just put the red on top now all I do now is cycle through that algorithm over and over again moving the, the piece that's on the top into its correct position so I'm going to move the, the piece from the top the red center onto the red face here so I use the same algorithm again using R so that it moves the front right piece off my white face so it's R prime L doing the same thing for the front left piece, R which fixes that front right piece back where it belongs and L prime which fixes that front left piece back where it belongs. You can see that the red centre is now on the correct face and we've now got blue on the top. So once again put the blue face as our front face so the blue from the top is going to come down to the front face so R prime, L, R prime. Blue is now on the front, but yellow on the top again, but nothing else is solved, so this isn't going to work. So all we need to do again is put the L somewhere else out of the way, which will bring a different colour to the top. So let's say put it on the green face to start a random choice. So R prime, L, R, L prime. So I've now got the orange piece on the top, let's put that on the face it belongs. So use that as my top orange face is my front and one more time so it's R prime L R L prime green is now my top piece so let's put that on the green face R prime L R L prime Blue is my top face, so let's put that on the blue face, and I think this will probably be the last one. So, R prime, L, R, L prime. You can see that all my centres are now in the correct place, some are oriented wrong, and I've got two corners in on the, t the yellow face and two that are oriented incorrectly, which is good because that's the hardest case to fix for the final layer corners, which means I can just show you the whole thing in one go. So that's the next step, we rotate our corners correctly. Now as I said, the, the fact this case here where you've got two correctly rotated and two incorrect is actually the, the longest case to solve. Um, you will either have a situation like this, you'll have a situation where none of them are rotated correctly, or you'll have a situation where all four are rotated correctly, in which case obviously you can skip this step. Now, first of all, the thing we've got to do is actually rotate them so that none of them are solved. So what we'll do is just the same algorithm again. Um, you hold the cube so that on the top right corner of the front face, which is my orange face, yellow is my top face, white is my bottom still, so orange is my front here, and on the right hand corner of it, the, the colour that needs to go on top, in my case yellow, is on the right hand side of that corner piece. And one more time we do that same algorithm, but we do it twice this time. So it's R prime, L prime, R, L, 
R prime L prime R L. Now I said that wrong, it should be R prime L R L prime, but you should know that from the other cases I've done it, but <laughs> yeah. I just mixed, got my tongue a bit tied there. So you can see all the centerpieces are still in the right places. They've all kind of rotated, but they're still where they belong. The red is on the red face, the blue is on the blue face, etc. And all my yellow corners are now incorrectly oriented. Right, sorry about that. The camera battery died while I was halfway through that section. So let me start this bit again. Um, we've just rotated the, um, the yellow corners to make it so that we've got four unsolved corners on the yellow f face and now what we need to do if you look around you'll find that you've got two corners where the um, yellow bits are facing opposite each other like so I've got yellow opposite the this yellow on these two corners and two corners where the yellow is on the same face now that face which has got two yellows on put that on your left hand side of the puddle so the red face right there on becomes our left face white of course is still my bottom yellow is my top so the green is my front face and then perform the algorithm twice again. So do a R prime, L, R, L prime, R prime, L, R, L prime. And as you can see, all four of my yellow corners are now oriented correctly. Now what I've got now is a situation where two of my centers are rotated correctly and four of them aren't. Now this is actually the easier case to sort out so let me just put it in a situation that's a little bit more difficult. Alright then, so what I've done, I've changed this into another situation where we've got two centres rotated incorrectly. Now the algorithm that we use, or I use, to rotate the centres actually rotates four centres. It rotates the, the top centre, the front centre, the right centre and the left centre. So if you've got two that are rotated incorrectly, if you'd say had that top, had them one at the top, one at the front, I'd rotate those correctly, but then you'd have the one on the left, the one on the right, rotated incorrectly when we finish, so that's no good. So what you need to do is perform this set of algorithms with one of the pieces not getting flipped, one and one of them getting flipped. So one of them will stay incorrectly oriented, one of them will get oriented correctly and three other faces will get oriented incorrectly which will leave us a total of four which we can then solve by doing the algorithm one more time so what I always do is just put one of these pieces at the back and one of them at the top so I'll have the red as my back the green will be my top face which means the blue face is my bottom face and we perform the same old algorithm that we've been doing so far but we do it six times in succession now remember the first move takes the front right corner of the blue face, which is now my down face, away. The L prime to, to the L turn takes the um, front left corner of my blue face away. And so and then we bring it back each time to complete the algorithm. So remember, I'm going to do this six times. So the red is my back face, the green is my up face, the blue is my down face. So we do R prime, L, R, L prime. That's one, R prime, L, R, L prime, that's two, R prime, L, R, L prime, that's three, R prime, oh, L, R, L prime, that's four, R prime, L, R, L prime, that's five, and finally R prime. If we get lined up right, L R L prime, and that gives the situation as I just said, where I've got four incorrectly oriented. So one, two, three, four. So what I need to do is create a situation where one is my up face. One is my front face. I'm not sure if that's going to work because I need. How is this going to work? One on my left and one on my right. So one on my left, one on the right. 
Yeah, the way they've come out is, is actually not going to work. Of course, they. I don't think I can find a way to get them all in the correct position. So, what I need to do is do it one more time, I think. And rotate. If I have the. Um, Yeah, if I have the red as my back and the white as my down, and do the rotations one more time, that'll leave me that and, and that one, which will work. Okay, so I'll have the um, white as my bottom face, the red as my back face, and do the six piece rotation again, the six repeats, so you should know the algorithm by now. Oh, I've messed that up. Um, so the white is my down face, the red is my back face. So I actually got a bit confused about which face I was doing things on there. So the orange is my front face. So I'm taking the white, the front right of the white face, and the front left of the white face. So down, down, up, up, which is all how I remember it actually. R prime, L, R, L prime, R prime. L ah L prime R prime L ah L prime that's four R prime L ah L prime R prime L ah L prime now hopefully we've still got four, which we can now configure into what we need. Now that's actually the hardest bit I find with this puzzle. Sometimes you'll twist something at the back by accident, get lost halfway in the middle of an algorithm and mess things up. Um, but yeah, okay, let's see, we should now be able to, yes. If I use the red as my up face, white as my front, green as my right, blue as my left, that will rotate those four pieces. So we'll do this... Um, six repeat of the algorithm one more time. Orange is my D face, so I'm taking off the front right orange and the front left orange with each turn. So it's R prime L R L prime R prime L R L prime R prime L R L prime R prime L R L prime, that's four. R prime L R L prime and one last time. R prime L R L prime. And as you can see, that's it. Everything is now solved. Now that's the way you solve any super scube, so to speak. Anything any scube that's got coloured centres or centers that need to be oriented correctly like the hex cube or the cube ultimate or the kite cube anything like that anything that's cube mechanism that needs the centers oriented that's how you can go about solving it all right then guys thanks for watching i hope this video is useful to you and i'll see you next time take care now bye